Good morning, everyone. Beautiful morning here at the cabin. The weather's supposed to be kind of on and off here today. Uh, a bit sunny, a bit cloudy, some wind coming up. Um, just going to start off the day right now with some coffee. And I have some uh, uh, chaga that I harvested myself recently. Uh, and I just mix it in with that coffee. I plan to do some work around the cabin today. Later on, I'll show you some uh, a different type of chaga from a company that I think you're really going to enjoy. I had to do a lot of looking for Chaga. Um, here in Labrador West, uh, I, I thought it would be an ideal place, you know, it's further in the north. I thought we'd have uh, plenty of Chaga here, but I actually looked about 10 hours uh, different times this past winter on snowshoes and covered an extensive area and did not find one single piece. I don't know if it was the particular stands that I that I looked in or if it's just at the area in general, but I'll continue to look. And recently I took a trip to the island of Newfoundland and uh, I was fairly successful there. And uh, I posted a few pictures on, on Facebook and Instagram and you guys really uh, were interested in that and asked me to make a little video. I didn't take a full scale video while I was harvesting that shag out there. Uh, but I did take a few clips. So I'll show you those clips now and show you exactly how I made out. So this is an old, old birch tree. And you can see there's an old scar from years ago. Many, many years ago. And this is where the chaga is forming. And this one, you can even see the chaga on the inner layer there. So I should be able to get a fair bit off of that one, you know. I did find another piece just over there as well. So it seems to be a place where... Uh, it's the spores will catch on the trees, I guess, and develop into mature chaga like this. It's got a little small hammer and some uh, and a small chisel. Nice chunk of it there. rich that one looks like so I took that uh, about, you know 40% of it I'll leave that there because it's close to my dad's house too so uh, he can always come down and, and get a bit off of there if he wants to in the meantime the other ones the other portion can continue to grow Found a lot this morning. I'm gonna take that now and process that now and put it, get ready to uh, enter the drying process. Yeah, so when I just picked that this morning, that's very right, soft, like a cork texture, right? Like that. I'll just keep on scooping that off because the outside, that black part, is no good for tea. It's good for fire starter, apparently. So if you use a big piece like that, sometimes it's hard to uh, cut it off, so I'll just take the chisel break it up into a couple pieces and that way you've got the edges exposed more you know so that's all good stuff there one little piece there yeah that's good yeah so just cut it off if you don't uh, I found that I had a piece the other day for about four or five hours and uh, it dried even in that time frame it was harder to get off cut off like that so so I'm going to, this is the next step, and I'm just going to cut off in, in all chunks of chaga. And afterwards, uh, I'll show you how I uh, make each piece nice and small, which just makes it ready for the cup. So I'm just going to take all these chunks, put them right in this fanny pack, because it was something that was handy. Probably put about half of it in there like that. Zipper up. Pour down the concrete now with that nice flat mallet like that and just pound away. All right, so now you can see, just ground it up nice and small. And that's manageable pieces there. So it's just a matter of, I could put that right in my tea right now. I wanted to have a cup of it. But uh, I'll take all that now and uh, just spread it out on a sheet. 
and let it dry for a few days. Uh, it'll get uh, really hard and uh, then it'll just good store away for however long you want. Okay, so I got it all spread out now and I'll leave that for a few days every now and then I'll come down and turn it over a little bit so all the pieces are exposed, you know. Let her dry up. Quick shout out to a lovely couple I met while in Porterville and fellow Chaga drinkers, Calvin and Debbie Brown. Nice to meet you guys. So this company uh, from Central Newfoundland sent me some samples of their uh, chaga that they harvest themselves. They're called Pine Clad Hills Foraging Company. And I've tried different uh, varieties of their teas. And uh, it's all chaga tea, but they mix flavors in with them. Spruce and cranberry and things like that. And uh, it's all 100% uh, harvested by them, all natural ingredients and it is delicious and the wonderful thing about it is um, these come already prepared for you and they're in individual tea bags so you don't have any mess or any looking around or any harvesting or drying that big long process uh, you can just simply uh, order from these guys and you can have it right in your kettle um, immediately so look these guys up on facebook again they're called uh, pine clad hills foraging company send them a message they'd be happy to send you some and you will be happy that you did oh yeah they even sent me a nice hat good job guys And guys, the fine folks at uh, Pine Clad Hills uh, were nice enough to donate some, some packages of their tea to give away to you guys. So just drop me a comment in this video and I'll automatically enter you in for the contest and uh, I'll get these tea packages out to you as soon as possible. And also as part of the prize, I'll throw in one of these old mugs here.
Well guys, that was a wonderful day at the cabin. Got a lot done. Enjoyed my uh, chaga in the coffee and chaga in the tea. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the video and you'll be entered in automatically into the contest. I'll announce the winner and send your package out to you ASAP, free of charge. So until next time guys, take care of each other, get outside and enjoy everything outdoors. We'll see you next time guys.